What is up my broskies and yes this is a public match and no it is not amazing um, but hopefully it will be a backdrop for what I want to talk about and I'm just going to basically talk about uh, what I do and don't like about the game and I know <laughs> I know a lot of people don't want to hear any bad things about the game so I'm not going to say any bad things per se I'm just going to say like my opinion what I think is like great and what I think is you know okay but overall before I say anything I just want to say I love this game Basically, it is Mono Warfare 2 with Black Ops features, and um, what more could you ask, really? Because Black Ops pretty much made a bunch of new inventions. Inventions? That sounds really gay. Um, but they made a bunch of new um, like things to use, such as theater modes, such as you know, like uh, one in the chamber and stuff like that. And you know, way that you join parties and stuff is a lot simpler. And they brought all that into Mono Warfare 2, which is amazing. And that you know, they they made they made sure that they didn't ignore everything that Black Ops was successful in. And just hate on everything that they were bad at they also realized that black ops was successful in a lot of different ways and they just built off that to build an amazing game and so i just want to basically say that before i start hating too much because and i just want to say i'm not going to hate i'm going to say a lot of good things too um but basically i'm just going to say a few things i've noticed such as nades and all for three are really really bad um you know mr and black ops per se um they were like Maybe a little bit overpowered, like they kind of rolled towards you. Um, if you, um, I know for me it seems like they always roll to me. Um, but yeah, nades. It seems like you almost have to have it right on them to kill them. Um, if you have any stories about this, go on. If you have any stories about anything I'm about to say, just post it in the comments because I love reading your comments. Um, I try to respond to each and every one, and I do as long as I see it. But sometimes, you know, I don't see them. Um, but yeah, so nades are really underpowered. And what about like the sway on the gun? Like not just snipers. Every gun has a sway on it. If you're um, looking into your scope on, look at this right here, uh, that was a bad example, but if you hold on your red dot on any gun, it sways around your screen, and um, it's kind of good because it, you know, brings it balance a little bit, but it is really, really hard to kind of aim on someone from far away, um, but the camos, they're amazing, okay, like, they're not amazing, I would say, because the gold camo, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's not really working for me, it, it's cool that you you don't have to like complete every challenge like you did in COD 4 but it looks like it looks like plastic to me and it's really cool kind of like I'm not gonna lie I like it but for me the blue camo is what rocks my socks that is freaking sweet if you haven't seen the blue camo definitely check it out because the blue camo is sexy as hell um it, but extreme conditioning I was a little little bit disappointed in that in mall, in mall for three I mean mall for two for my bad um, Marathon made you run so fast and so far. Not fast, but far. Extreme conditioning, it almost feels like I'm running at a normal, like, pace. Like, I'm not pace. I think I'm from running just as far as it without extreme conditioning. And that's a little bit unfortunate because the pro version doesn't give you unlimited either like it did in Black Ops. Um, pro version just means you can climb obstacles faster. So I was a little bit disappointed in that. It's not really that big of a deal. It's still kind of neat. Um, but I wish that would just, I wish you could sprint a little bit longer with it. Um, then it'd be perfect um, and the helicopters it seems like those might be a little bit overpowered um, but the the kill streaks guys they are amazing um, I've been running support kill streak and that's perfect for me because in this, in this game I right hear this is me just screwing around and having fun if it's not a game battle I'm not gonna be trying that hard I, I'm really not I mean I'll just try it. I'll try to do good because obviously doing good is fun and this game is about having fun but, but as far as like camping in corners uh, I'm not going to be doing that, and I don't know if you guys have any stories about this either, um, but when I ca when I got the game and came home with Mall for 3, right, on the November 8th, I guess, but technically the 7th, um, which was Monday, it seems like everyone was trying so hard. Everyone was camping in corners, and I'm guessing it was because they were trying to get a good KD or something. I don't really know, but it seems like everyone was sitting in corners, and um, but I, for me, I was like right around the map trying to learn these maps as fast as I possibly could. But it, it's it's a great game, great map. But the maps are big. Have you noticed that? Like that's why I put on extreme conditioning in the first place because all I've been using is um, what it's called a sleight of hand. And I was like, well, I'm gonna throw on extreme conditioning. Maybe I'll get around these maps a little bit quicker. Eh, wrong. Um, extreme conditioning didn't help that much with that. But the maps, they're amazing. They're pretty. Yes, I said pretty. Don't hate. Um, the maps are really good looking and they're really big and I like that. Um, the maps are so big that it, it I don't know, it just it brings kind of like a little bit of a feel into it. Um, but back onto the kill streaks, they they pretty much like used everything that was successful in other games. Um, but right now I'm just gonna tell you that if you're if you're thinking about oh the advanced UAV is gonna be really great like the Blackbird, um, pretty much you're gonna have a better chance of just running the regular UAV and have like a different higher kill streak 
because I believe it's a 12 kill streak. Um, I'm not completely positive on that, but it is up there. And um, the UAV works pretty much just as good as an uh, advanced UAV. Pretty much, an advanced UAV is just a UAV that shows their position. It doesn't last any longer. It doesn't um, do anything special. It pretty much just shows their direction for just as long as a UAV red dot would. Um, so obviously, it's good. You know, I mean, it's not bad. But as far as if you could get a lot better kill streaks, I would definitely run just a UAV and then use a higher kill streak. That's just my opinion. Um, but I think that'll help out a lot better. Um, but what about how balanced this game is, guys? This game is so balanced. There's pretty much no gun that is like just six like leaps and bounds better than the other gun. Pretty much all I've seen that is a lot better than the other gun is the type, um, which is just like the FAMAS, and obviously it's the type like some number. But uh, <laughs> I'm not that into this game yet. Yet, yet. Um, I don't know like the exact names of all the guns on, um, but the type and the ACR and the SCAR L. And the UMP is pretty much all I've been using. I know that I know I just said I wasn't gonna tr like I don't try hard games, but I do like doing good. And those are the guns that give me the best chance of doing good. So those are pretty much what I like using. They're a lot of fun to use. Um, and right here, this kill streak I'm calling in right here, it's basically an emergency airdrop, but it gives you more care packages and it defends you while you're getting the care packages. That's pretty sweet. And um, this is a support kill streak, and it's what I like doing. I may have already said this, but I run around a lot, and you don't have to worry about not dying. And and yeah, so it's pretty cool. I've been running that UAV and um, what's it called, Sam turret, because everyone's running UAV. Everyone's like such a low level that everyone runs UAV, including me. So a good idea is rather to run. Uh, I don't know exactly what name of the perk. I can't remember the exact name of the perk, but you really need to run that perk or run a Sam turret. Not only for your benefit, but for your team's benefit, and it helps a lot. Um, but this view you're fixing to get is like really cool. Like I'm running in on this uh, kill streak. I don't remember what it's called, but look at this. Look at this. Look how sweet does that look right there? That thing looks sweet. And it's to start dropping the care packages, and then it's going to defend. And I believe I get a triple kill. I think. I think I. Yeah, I think I just got a triple. Yeah, I just got a triple kill. And that was pretty sweet. I think it was one of my first triple kills. And obviously, but it's a little bit disappointing on how it tells you. Like, the, the way it says, like, first blood, or, and look at me, I'm trying to figure out how to use this thing. I'm, like, running around, I'm like, um, what do I press? I was like, I didn't know what to do at all. I ended up figuring it out. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh, like, the thing on the side. See how it just said Juggernaut right there? Like, in, um, Black Ops, Mall Warfare 2, it was super big on the top right hand of the screen. And here, it's just, like, a little bit of letters on the, on the side of the screen. And if you're not, like, actually looking at it, you won't notice it, which I guess is kind of a good thing. It's not distracting while you're playing the game, um, but it's also kind of cool. Like if you're, um, like, if you get like a triple kill, you kind of want it to be like everyone knowing, like, yeah, look at me, my dick is bigger than yours. I just got a triple kill. Um, but that's just my opinion. It's, I thought it was kind of cool when it was big, uh, but obviously a new game brings changes in. Look at me. I like. I don't really know how to use this thing at first, and I'm trying to figure out. But it's really cool. You can try this little thing. It's a recon plane, recon drone. I don't really know. I'm not exact with any of the names yet, and um, yeah, but but definitely it's been fun playing with a lot of my subscribers. Never been able to do that before. Um, it's been it's kind of like a new thing for me to play with you guys, and it's really fun. And it, it brings a little bit of pressure, I guess. Like I feel like I'm supposed to be doing good, but uh, I gotta admit, if it's if it's not a GB, I'm not really trying that hard. Like I'm just kind of screwing around, and hopefully you guys know that and don't make fun of me. Be like you're bad. And, uh, pretty much it's just been a lot of fun. Um, anyway guys, this game is wrapping to an end. If you've watched this whole gameplay, you're a fucking champ. Because that's a pretty long um, gameplay commentary to watch. Um, but if you have, maybe I could get a like. Because obviously if you've watched this for 9 minutes now, you've liked it a little bit. Maybe, that's just a guess. Um, but maybe guys, you can let me a like. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate if you would subscribe. It means a lot. And um, I've, bring, I've brought a video a day for pretty much the last week and a half. And don't think it's been easy. Basketball started, so I have that two to three hours a day. And it all pre classes, so don't think it's easy for me to throw out these videos. Um, but pretty soon, I'm going to have a basketball game two days a week, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to get videos out those days. And if I do, it's going to be um, early in the morning. So come check that out, guys. Anyways, I love you guys a long time. Um, thank you, guys, and thank you for watching. Bye.